time for a movie. I was I grew up in Pakistan, in South Africa, uh, which is just outside Durban. I finished school seventeen when I finished school, so seventeen and a half, and got the January conscription. Left school in December, started the army in January. I don't know really what I was expecting to be totally honest with you. It's just something that everybody did. Just packed up things with a few of my mates who were going off at the same time. There were a couple of guys that I was at school with who were going to the same unit. Um, David Skinner, Mark Gibson, I think Josh Trichard was one of the guys that was still with me at the same unit. Yeah, headed off then. Yeah, the, it was a bit of an eye opener getting on the train with hundreds of other people and heading up there on the train. Yeah, we were in a pretty quiet carriage, but geez, there was some wild, parties going on in the place on the way up there and then got into one SSB. I seem to remember us getting in about a week before everybody else. We got in there really early so for a week we did nothing. Just hung around in the barracks. It was a pretty easy introduction to the army other than the roof ride from the train station to the unit in the back of the bed fix where the guys drove like maniacs and tried to push up the, us up the back and then getting off the off the back of the bed fit and guys screaming at us and off the car and some, my Afrikaans, despite doing it at school for how many years, is pretty rudimentary and I couldn't understand what the hell they were saying when I got off the edge. And so, yeah, it was that was kind of a rude awakening to the whole thing is that English was no longer going to be the language I was going to be speaking for the next few years. I say. From a basic training point of view, I went to School of Armour, which was the officer's course, um, the basic training there. Again, I didn't really know what I was letting myself in for. And it was it was intense. I'd say it was intense. I'd never done um, cadets at school or anything like that. So first time I'd ever learned how to march was when I got there. That was just a nightmare for me. The marching just just about killed me. I couldn't. So I did lots of running around trees, picking leaves off trees and shit like that for not stamping my foot at the right time. From a fitness point of view, I was always pretty fit. I could always run. So the, the running side of the thing and that sort of thing, the physical side of it didn't worry me too much. It wasn't too bad. What did kill me was the lack of sleep. I just I just never had enough sleep. Everything was in Afrikaans, so it was a bit of a language hurdle to get over. It was hard, and, and I must admit I bloody hated the sergeant that had us as the the drill master. But other than that, it, was, it wasn't out of what I was expecting, to be totally honest with you. I got kicked off officer's course soon after basics, which was really disappointing for me. But in reality, when I look back at it, and I was so immature and so young, that I was in no ways ready to lead any sort of troop war. Well, yeah, a lot of it was shooting, shooting range, and um, well, learning how to drive armored cars. I, I didn't drive before I went to the army. I, I hadn't. I wasn't old enough to get a license or anything like that. So, um, kind of learned how to drive in the army, and that's that's what I became a driver in an army car. Yeah, look, it was it was all good fun. Uh, I, I kind of enjoyed that part of it. You were learning something new all the time. I enjoyed them. shooting on the rifle range and stuff like that. I, again, I'd grown up in the city. There was no, I didn't even own a pellet gun. So to get hold of a rifle and shoot something was quite a big deal for me. It was actually quite fun. It was just the, when people put things on automatic when they should have had a single shot and had to go running to things that didn't, that wasn't the fun part. But, um, in general, um, I think I got through it pretty well. It was, it was just an education. I just remember being freezing cold on the brook sleeping in a tent in the middle of winter when the fire buckets float, throw solid during winter and being really cold. Um, the, the sleeping with all my clothes on and in my um, crotias, you know, it, was, it was just really cold and not a hell of a lot of fun, that sort of thing. Um, but there was guys, I mean, I was, I was very friendly with a guy called Harry Hipton. We, we'd been basics together and then gone back to one of his B together and he and I were good mates and and I, I just remember when we were doing shooting training that that warned us not to lower the the ninety mil cannon directly down onto the ground. And for some reason, Harry lowered it to full lower position and shot into the ground in front of us. Blew the the um, instructor off the back of the armored car, burnt all his eyebrows off, and things like that. And and Harry spent the next two weeks running up and down the mountain. When he, when he wasn't shooting with the armored car, he was running up and down the mountain with two ninety mils on his shoulders. So you know that. We could laugh about that now. I'm sure it wasn't much fun for him in those days. But, you know, that was kind of part of the deal.